Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to a wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in Fragmented. I guess that's the name. So, anyways, so what is this game? No clue. So, we're going to explore this together. This will be kind of episode zero, and we're just going to run around and, and dink around and see how to play this game. I've already kind of set up my settings before this, and yeah, we're just going to click on play offline. Okay, here we are. This is the character I was messing around with in the beginning. So you seem to always start the game with with in the day, like in the morning here, it seems. And there's a like a day-night cycle to the game. And to me this game has a lot of elements of what like Ark would have. So yeah, so how do we so we can zoom out to see our character here. This is kind of the perspective. Um, if you press and hold the mouse button, you can kind of rotate it around. Um, I don't think we can keep... Yeah, you can't really keep rotating it. So anyways, how do we play? Oh yeah, okay, with the mouse. Okay. So I is for inventory. So I have a pickaxe here. We're going to do some harvesting of this stone up here. Shift to run. And I'm just going to kind of... Basically, this is how you do it. Yeah. And then you pick up a whole bunch of materials. I kind of like this mechanic. It's a really nice mechanic, I find. So, yeah. So, what's the plan with this? Well, I was playing Seven Days to Die. And kind of, I'm waiting for the next patch to be officially released. I know we can kind of do the, uh, the experimental branch. But I've heard you know, there's been issues with them. So... Yeah, so I'm kind of staying away from that until I know that everything's fixed. And so we're going to play this game. Uh, I purchased a copy for Lushbow Echo as well. Because I figure it'll be a game that we'll give a shot. We'll kind of play maybe. Maybe something different. So, yeah. This game has good music. So let's take a look at my inventory. So I've been harvesting a bunch of materials. Uh, these pods you get from... Where is it? Okay, can I delete my character this way? Resume, leave. No, okay. Is it under options to delete characters? Uh, let's see if we go game. Heads up display, mouse. I might have to change the mouse sensitivity. I am using my gaming mouse and it is turned up all the way. So I might have to actually. Let's see, 85. I want 85. Come on. Let's do that see how that feels okay yeah I kind of have the visual settings turned to medium I think so visually the game looks pretty amazing oh man is that already going down oh no okay never mind it's going down okay anyways so crafting is L this is the crafting system this is what I can craft at this moment in time I should craft a stone axe don't I have a stone axe no, I don't. Let's craft a stone axe. So this is how you craft. Single click, you collect the materials, and then you can craft it. Let's chop this one of these trees down here. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, there we go. This is how we get logs. Perfect. So we'll hack on this for a bit, and we'll see what we can do with that. So basically, yeah. So basically, this game is just a crafting game, and you start with the stone age, and I'm going to run out of food here so we should actually be running around trying to find these bushes let me change to the knife because the knife is better for this kind of stuff and hopefully we'll get some food out of this ah uh, no okay how about these ones here they are the, yeah, there we go the no goo berries the no goo berries or whatever you want to call them they're kind of like your first kind of food I think so let's see here wait till this whole bush gets terminated bang okay I'm gonna run to the water down here gonna eat these berries I'm gonna run down to the water oh, yeah, I guess there's stamina yeah there's stamina to recover more stamina, you want to crouch. I do have a campfire set up, which seems to continually see burn. 
if we go back to our crafting, okay, so we need to go into our inventory. There's these skill points that you get as you level up. And so there's these points that you can get. And if you move your mouse over, it kind of tells you each one. So let's go through that here. Well, actually, we will go through that. I'm just going to grab some water. So to get water, we want to hop into the water here. And it's basically swimming. If you're thirsty, swimming is a good way. Q, E. Okay, that's kind of neat. Yeah, see, there you go. It's funny how swimming fills you up. I'm surprised they don't add like water. But that's okay. So we'll probably build kind of near this lake here where we placed our fire here. So just probably be a good spot to to mess around with. Is this a bush? Oh, this is a bush. Let's see here. Let's see what we get out of it. Hopefully some berries maybe. Come on. Give me some berries. Sweet stock. I wonder what that is. Bang. Okay, let's eat. 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 Man, we're going to have to kill some animals soon. That's what we're trying. That's what I'm trying. Okay, what can we claw craft next? Or next? I do want to create this stuff. But look at that. Look how much it takes of the fiber. Crazy. Uh, cloth gloves, cloth boots, there's a bandage, campfire resin, ah, torch. I think I want to create one of these. Oh, look at this, this is meat here we can make, perfect. Now let's go into our inventory. Can we put this into our off hand? No, we can put it into our main hand. Okay, cool, cool. Stone axe, wood club. Makes reasonable weapon. Not sure why we would do that. Bandage for healing. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> it is raining. We are hungry. Okay, where is the campfire? It's around here somewhere. Wish we could see the camp. Oh, there we go. Let's kind of crouch here. <laughs> We're naked. It's pretty funny. Okay, let's take a look. I think we need to look at kind of shelter. So if we go, at, if we if we look at construction, see level two, you get a wood shack. So let's do that. How do we make a wood shack? Now we go into our our construction with L, or like our crafting with L. And I think it just adds it to the bottom wood shack. So we need more logs, more fiber. Okay, that's doable. Maybe we'll do that right now. So we'll switch to the stone axe, and we will collect up a whole bunch of stuff here. We'll collect up some logs. I'm not sure how dark the nights get, but I guess we'll find out. I'm just going to play this game for about 20 minutes, and then we'll call it. So we'll see if we can get to the shack. If not, we'll just continue on with episode 1, I guess. I guess this, is, this would be episode 0. And yeah, we're just gonna harvest a bunch of these trees, which I think they respawn every time we restart the server, it seems. Can I use my axe on this? No, it wants you to use a knife. Which is kind of funny. I wish there was a faster way of switching these weapons. There we go, new berries. Nice. We're gonna need this. Ooh, we're level three. Okay. Oh, there's more berries down here. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, let's kind of process this area here. Oh, where are these plants? These purple ones aren't very good. Oh, this is awesome. Look how many berries we've got here. Pretty cool. You're just gonna eat some up here. You crouch to rest. At least I think it goes up a little bit faster. Just gonna have a drink of my drink here. Okay. This is doing it. This is storing our hunger. Just get as many of these berries as we can. 
since this whole area is oh there's a little tiny rock we can actually harvest these yeah. little rocks there we go come on okay now if I change to the pickaxe stone pick there is these little the rocks here and see we can actually hit these things and we get a whole bunch of materials bang okay this is a rock over here you can also place markers if you go M for map so you can see where our arrow is so we should place a marker where 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 our camp is I guess I guess yeah I guess we could call that a camp that little campfire it's gonna harvest this rock. I'm not sure if there's weight. I don't think there's weight, so I think we can just continue to pick up as much as we can, pretty much. Okay, oh, look at that iron. Oh, that's so cool. Look, and the rain has stopped, so that's good. We eat the berries up here. Okay, let's change to our stone knives so we can continue processing the berries here because we know they're here we know we need to eat and that's the unfortunate part so I have a feeling this game's gonna have a lot of grinding it already feels that way <laughs> just from oh stone knife is nearly broken so how do we so do, do we just create a new one and then We'll let this one break, see what happens when it breaks. What is this? My inventory is full. Really? Come on. There we go. Okay, so that's just, it's just silly. Okay, so this is pretty much I guess we can just drop it like that. There we go. So this one is a brand new one. Damage 31. So I'm not sure if that increases based on skills. See right here we can here we go. Here's another tree. Two three. One, two, three. Okay, let's go back towards the lake okay I'm gonna click on don't show again because that gets annoying I'm gonna head back this way oh what's this fiber okay I'm gonna back this way okay okay so we want to make a shack stone shack so we need more logs more fiber okay Let's see here. This should be fiber here. A bina berry? Oh, that's a different kind of berry. That's interesting. Okay, really cool. I wonder if that's a bad berry or consume a few calories or extract in citric acid. There is a decay time, which is interesting. Well, these ones do a little bit better. Look at that. They're storing much more. Cool. So we'll have to harvest these berries. Excellent. Okay. Fiber. We need the fiber. This is a very good bush. What's that noise? Shouldn't have any issues. It shouldn't be too hot. The temperature doesn't seem to affect too much in this game. Yeah, I know I like this kind of stuff. I like harvesting, I like running around, kind of exploring, which we haven't really done, but that's because we're kind of trying to harvest, but there's just, there's so much coming off this. Oh, uh, there we go. I thought it was kind of like busted, but maybe not. This is another binaberry place. 
We need the fiber. Okay. And then we can eat some of this stuff up. <coughs> Perfect. Okay. We, should, we will probably use this up before it decays, which is fine. Let's switch to our stone axe here. Let's go harvest up some of these trees. <clears throat> these huge trees harvest... Oh, is this a different kind of wood? Or is it just my skill now is higher, so... Uh, Anjara wood. Let's see, we got Anjara wood. And regular logs. Okay, so that's okay. Let's go over with this tree here. What's what's special? Or is it So you think this is a different kind of tree compared to the other oh yeah, see those trees are a little bit different, these ones here. And those ones I wonder if let's check that out. So this is a regular tree. Let's go chop these little funky trees with the stuff hanging down. <laughs> what a description. These we can chop as well. These will give us fiber. Oh, but I want you to use a knife. Yeah, see the the Pratness pod? And I think you get fiber as well, or you're supposed to. There you go, he harvested fiber. Excellent. And you know we need a lot of fiber. See, there we go. Now... Okay, and then we need just a bunch of logs. Okay, so let's check this tree out here. I think it's going to be exactly what I figure. Let's see here, and then we can make a foot locker. So this tree should be Anjara wood. No, how about this one, this big one here? Yeah, Anjara wood, okay. Cool. So yeah, so there's different kinds of wood, looks like. That's kind of neat. Very, very cool. Yeah, I don't know what to think about this game. I don't know. I don't know. I just... I was looking for a different game to play. I, I've been kind of upset about the the 7 Days to Die thing and with the, the locked-in hordes. and I'm just hoping that they fix it and they release a, a stable patch. Okay, and I'm just going to run down to our campfire that is perpetually lit. Where is it? Or is it not lit anymore? Or does it decay? You are exhausted. Oh yes, we are. Okay, well that's fine. Doesn't matter. Let us go over here closer to the water. Uh, do we have enough logs? We do not. I need <laughs> 20 more logs crazy so yeah so I figure what I'll do with the game the way I'll edit is it'll be just I won't show all the grinding I'll give you an idea what the grinding is about because just that's part of the game and maybe I'll figure out stuff to talk about man we got chopped down this whole forest just to build one little shack that's interesting we should maybe rest a bit here maybe munch on some food here there we go perfect got our hunger up and then our yeah I don't know it'd be nice to play a game this game you really kinda it feels like you arc a lot and maybe they use kinda similar engines maybe they decide to, it's the unreal engine maybe it has that same kinda feel I don't know. Not that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining at all. It's kind of interesting to see you know, someone else use similar game mechanics. It's just kind of like the same feel of the engine. All that stuff. Come on. I want to build that shack and then call it an episode. I was going to finish it at 20 minutes, but we should be close to getting that, that shack. Come on, wood shack. 36, okay, so we need four more, four more. Let's chop this tree here. Come on. One, two. Got two logs. 
three logs. Four, five. I'm gonna kinda harvest uh, a little bit more. Okay. So now, now we wanna build our, the wood shack. I'm gonna go craft. Three seconds. Nice, and it's probably gonna be a little, yeah, little recipe thing. Come on, why can't I put it in the hot bar? See, I don't know if those are ambient sounds or those are actual creatures that exist in the game somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna build our shack in here somewhere. I think closer. I'm just gonna see if I can find that campfire. I don't think I can find it. I think it does go away. Okay, so right about here somewhere we're gonna build it. So how do we do this? Inventory. Oh, you double click it. Okay, now how do I rotate? Can I use... No, I can't use the number keys. I guess we just have to stand how we want to place it. So I want to place it like that. Okay, so there we go. Wood shack. So what does F do? Okay, never mind. So... Oh, okay, the door opens automatically. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Very cool. So here we go. This is our shack. Okay, how's that going to protect us? Okay, so now what can we build? Can we build beds? Can we do anything interesting on that front? Foot locker. It's up to four items. That's it. So we need ten logs, four glue. Where do we get glue from? Oh, so we need to make a wood club. Wow. Make a wood club. Oh, inventory is full. Nah, not really full. If we move this stuff like this, we will have spots. Okay, and then if we go like that. Let's, if we continue, let's go, where are we? Mortar and pestle. Require campfire, stove, and forge. Okay. To turn objects into liquid. Okay, cool. Burn rather easily. Ah, see, that's why you need the mortar and pestle. Because then you make this thing, the resin, you know, out of logs. Okay, that's kind of cool. Wood base. Oh, oh, creates a wood base and floor, which are other buildings. Ah, so you think I should have built this on top of the wood base? Huh. Which means I need 60. Interesting. Well, we'll figure this all out. Maybe I screwed this wood shack up. But it does seem to work. It does the trick. Maybe the wood base is for other buildings. But yeah, but thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Hopefully it was interesting. And yeah. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one, in, in episode one. So yeah, so you all have a good day.